All right, so what do we have here? This is my home network. I just got finished for the most part setting it up. Got everything looking as organized as I can possibly get it, I think. Um, cable management, it's a talent. The guys that make it look just perfect, it's a talent, I'm convinced. Anyhow, starting at the bottom right here, this is my um, my power. This is just a six port rack mount um, power outlet. Right above, I have a patch panel. Could have probably done without the patch panel, but um, I like that I can set everything up as far as just uh, pushing down all the wires in the back and then interchange um, from the switch. I can pop the switch out later if I get a different um, switch, put a different switch in and just plug this. I mean, I guess I can do the same thing with just a switch. But anyway, there's all type of arguments whether you need a patch panel or not. I wanted a patch panel, so I got a patch panel. Right above the patch panel is my switch. It's a 24 port um, TP-Link. It's an unmanaged switch. I'm not doing anything that I would need to get into the switch and set things up. Um, this is my home network. <clears throat> I think if I was running a business or something, I might go with a managed switch. But um, the way I have it set up, the stuff on the blue, the, um, the blue cables here, they pretty much go to every room, one cable to every room, except right here. This is four that's going to one room, which is the uh, family room where I have my home theater upstairs. We got a TiVo, PlayStation, um, the white is an HD PC, it's actually not installed yet so I just have a white to remind me that that's where that will go. Um, the other one here is uh, my receiver. This green one here, we're in the basement right now, this green one right here goes to my um, computer that's downstairs in the basement, my workstation. Um, but anyway. Over here we got kitchen, master bedroom, loft, family room, I'm sorry, um, master bedroom, what did I say here? Master bedroom, front bedroom, loft, yada yada yada, whatever, that's that. Up here, this is my router. Um, it is an, let's see if I can get it, I got it stick down with some double sided tape. But I got an Edge Router X, it's the SFP um, with a POE model. I doubt I'll use the SFP, but it's there if I ever decide to upgrade to something like that. But um, here we have this first one is just coming off of my Xfinity modem. Then we got this one just pushing down to the um, switch. The white one here, off color, white cream. That one goes to my access point that's upstairs. It's mounted to the ceiling of the first floor and it's almost exactly in the middle of the house from front to back um, from front to middle middle to back left right it's almost the exact center on the second floor um, first floor ceiling so whether you go up you go down you go left you go right it's giving you great coverage um, throughout the house that's my um, access point and that is a um, ubiquity also it's a Ubiquiti Unify um, AP AC uh, long range. <clears throat> and the speed on the thing, it, it's ridiculous. It's really, really good compared to what I had. My older um, was a router, Wi Fi, all in one. And this time I decided to separate the router from the access point. Um, and the PoE is wonderful. I think my other two ports on the um, router here, I'm going to do two PoE. Um, security cams but that's a little later also right here we have my um my d-link it's um, a nas again this one's a little old um, very slow so i'm going to upgrade to something chances are it's going to be um i'm thinking the western digital the ex 4100 um so that's going to go here because i'm running a plex media server and I can't run it off of this. So right now it's actually running off of my workstation and whenever I'm ready to view some stuff I'll make sure the workstation's on that way I can um, watch stuff upstairs and since we're going to be doing over the basement we're getting the basement finished. It's not currently finished right now. I wanted something that's going to give me um, 
just way more uh, accessibility to be able to just hardwire things in. Um, I'm not looking to do anything over Wi-Fi except for, you know, the use of like tablets, maybe, you know, phones and stuff like that at home. But when it comes to PlayStation, TiVo, Xbox, um, Blu-ray players, that's all going to be plugged in um, hardwire. So I think that's about it. I think I covered everything. Um, power, patch panel, switch, router, access point upstairs. Um, what is this again? This is my NAS, D-Link um, NAS, and Xfinity modem. So that's about it. Hope you like it. I did another video, but I think I'm going to take that down because I think I forgot um, a couple things. I forgot to mention a couple of things. But anyway, um, I'm going to do another video on the access point. It's really easy to set up as far as um, just the configuration. The, the um, software is fairly straightforward. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.